Hi, I'm George, and we're going to be making this pencil sketch effect here inside of Adobe's Photoshop Elements program. Make sure you hit subscribe so you won't miss out on any videos in the future, and take a look at my complete training courses for Photoshop Elements. There's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, to start this one off, I'm just going to remove all of the layers in here above the background layer. Let's go like that, hit the trash can, and I'll just get all those out of there. Here we are. We're back to the original image. Now, whenever I do this kind of a project, I always like to make a duplicate of the background just in case things get messed up, I can always then go back to that one. So we'll start off with that. Go up here to your background layer, right click and duplicate layer, choose OK. There we go. And then just hide that background. That's our safety just in case. OK, now we need to convert this over into black and white because Pencil Sketch, of course, is a black and white image. Easy to do. Go up here to Enhance, come down to Color, and just click on Remove Color. There we go. It's now just a straight black and white image. Let's now make a duplicate of this layer. Right click and duplicate layer. Choose OK. There we go. Now a couple things on this layer. Let's first go up here to the blend modes and come down to color dodge right there. And that gives you that kind of a high contrast effect. That's the basis for everything we're doing in here. But it's not there yet. A couple more real kind of tricky little steps in here to get this just exactly right. The next one is to invert this into a negative. Go up to Filter, come down to Adjustments, and Invert right there. That makes it a negative image. Now, obviously, we've hidden that, so we need to bring that back in again. And we'll do that with a little bit of magic here. And that's going up to the Filter menu again. Come down to Blur and go here to the Gaussian Blur. There it is. And the Gaussian Blur brings back that image, but it looks more like a sketch effect. Right now it's at 15.3. That's pretty good for this one. The further you go to the left, the more you get just kind of a line drawing in there. The further you go to the right, the more it looks like a photograph. But I think for this sketch, somewhere right around that 13, it's pretty good. There's some nice dark areas and it looks pretty much like a sketch, but we're still not done yet. There's more we can do on this. Choose OK. Now it's a little bit soft and it's a little bit low contrast. Let's now make our darks darker in here. And for this, go up to the layer menu, come down to new adjustment layer and levels right here. No need to check this checkbox right here. Just choose OK. Here we go. Now here, notice that most of the images over here on the right hand side on your whites. Your blacks left hand side, not much in here. I want to pull the black control here over until I get some nice rich blacks. If you go too far, it does that. It's interesting. You may want to, you know, play with that get just look that you want. But I want to have some nice rich blacks happening in the hair right around in here. But I don't want to go too far. Now as I go over here, I'm beginning to get in some toning in here and some toning in the back in there. Those are your mid-tones. So I'll grab my mid-tone control and I'll pull that to the left a little bit. That will minimize those and just play back and forth with these two settings until you get just the look that you like. And I think right around in here is looking pretty good. And it's already a pretty good looking pencil sketch, but it's not quite far enough yet. I think I can make it a little bit better. So leave these settings at that. I think that looks okay. I want to add in some texture onto this, but I want to have this controlled. So for that, let's come down here to our background, copy this as your grayscale layer, right click and duplicate layer, choose OK. So now I have two copies of that layer. And let's apply a texture effect onto this top one of our two background layers here, background copy three. Go up to filter, come down to filter gallery, and there is a filter effect in here. It's inside of brush strokes and it's called crosshatch. I have mine set for a stroke length of nine. Sharpness of seven and a strength of two. There you go. Notice how if you change these settings, it can really go kind of weird on you. So keep them a little on the low side. You can play around with them to get just the effect that you want. I'll set that one at seven. There it is. Choose OK. Now it looks a little bit odd. We're going to blend this into that other gray scale layer here. Go to our blend modes. Come down to soft light. And that then blends our texture mode into our background image here. And it gives us that nice texture on this. and looks like a really carefully done pencil sketch. Now she's off center. So one last little trick in here. Go up here to the top layer and then hold down these keys. Shift, Control, Alt, and then tap the E key. What that does is it duplicates all these layers and combines those into one new layer up here. You can now hide all of this stuff like that. Let's now come down just one layer. Hit the new layer button. Let's fill this layer with white. Here's our basic colors. Click on that button for your defaults. Hit the arrow here, double arrow, white in front. Grab your paint bucket and just click any place in here that fills that layer with white. And I can now grab my move tool, go to the top layer, and let's just move over here until she looks better on the image. And I think that looks pretty good right there. So there we go, there's our pencil sketch effect. 
Now make sure you hit the like button, click on share, click on subscribe. To click on my complete training course for Photoshop Elements, there's a link for that right down there. And check out my channel for hundreds more Photoshop Elements project videos. And I'll see you next time.